the voters say there, there's a problem. There was a problem with the Biden-Harris administration right off the bat, right off the bat. So the Harris campaign responded, promising a tax break for the purchase of baseball bats. The people they declared demanded to be able to right off the bat, and now they can. After, after they have passed a racial profiling test, of course. And if you can't afford the bat, uh, we'll provide you with a $20,000 loan, you know, to help you out possibly. We're working on that. Now, uh, if, if that is, you've got the right skin tone. Uh, note, note, note that this is not a bribe. We're gonna provide you with, we're gonna provide you a loan if that is, you have the right skin tone. I gotta get the bri I gotta get the rhyme in there. Note, however, that this is not a bribe, okay? This is not a bribe. Let's be real, let's be clear here. There, there's been a shocking decline in the support amongst the quote, brothers, end quote, out there. And 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 we fig we just figured, you know, like a twenty thousand dollar taxpayer funded loan per qualified person, wink wink, would would be a reasonable amount of money in exchange for support and votes, you know? It's totally not a bribe. And, and is, it, is, it, is it, you might ask, a racially, is a racially based rather than economically based loan program constitutional under the concept of all men are created equal under the law? Yeah, probably not. But, but we progressives have moved past the Constitution, no longer fighting for quaint terms and enlightenment ideas like equality, now, now preferring the more progressive equity, which can, which can be roughly translated as inequality under the law. Because nothing brings people together around shared values and humanity more than every time we fill out a bureaucratic document and, and there will be many more of those, you can be sure, because if there's one thing we progressive loves, it's bureaucracy. We're going to boost that up to the moon. Every time you fill out a DMV document, vote or apply for a job, we, we require you to list all of the superficial things that make us different, b different between one another, ourselves, us, our neighbors, and fellow citizens, so we can get disparate treatment based on those superficial things, right? So so even even though they have absolutely no no bearing on a person's ability to drive, vote or work, what could possibly bring people together more than just listing those superficial things that make us different on a daily basis again for no practical reason, right? That's it's got to be a good plan. That's got to bring people people and then and then people were like, "Hey, that's not what we meant by right off the bat, okay? When we said the, 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 the Biden-Harris administration was a problem right off the bat, that's not what we meant. So the Harris campaign jumped into action, allowing, allowing the write off of wetland uh, market bat stew. And so they're like, okay, now you can, you can write off the bat stew, you know, bat stew is gonna be a write off from the wetland markets, funded by China and Anthony Fauci. And don't worry, the bat stew DNA has not been genetically altered in any harmful way. There's no game of function happening here, we promise. At least not after we altered the definition of game of function to be incredibly specific, you know? And even if it was, it, it was an improvement. And even if it wasn't an improvement, it's your fault for not wearing a mask while eating it. So anyway, all right, that's it. That was my joke. I kind of, I kind of butchered it. I think I, it's more of a rant. I should have done it. I should have practiced it, but uh, I feel like I should do it again. No, it's practice session. It is what it is.